In this video, we're going to look at how to simulate gravity and processing. We'll be making a square that sits on the ground and then jumps when the spacebar is pressed. So we have a canvas that's 1280 by 720. First, we'll make the background white and draw a black rectangle for the ground. Oh, that's not what we wanted. We're off to a good start. Okay, better. Now we need to draw the square that we'll be jumping. Let's pick a colour. Maybe a reddish colour? Okay, now that the square is sitting on the screen in the right spot, we need to make it jump. When the box jumps, it'll have these three variables interacting with each other. Position, velocity, and acceleration. The position of the box is just the first two numbers that we put into the rectangle function. The velocity is zero, but when we jump, the velocity will change to say 20. We'll have to play around with these numbers and acceleration due to gravity is 9.8. So when we jump, velocity will instantly increase and we change the position based on the velocity. Then we change velocity by acceleration and repeat. I'll try to give an example. So say the ball starts off at position zero. When we jump, it instantly is given a velocity of 50. But acceleration due to gravity is minus 10 to make the numbers easier. Next time through the draw loop, the ball will move up by 50. So position equals 50, velocity equals 40 now, and acceleration is still minus 10. Acceleration stays constant. Then the ball moves again, this time by 40. So position would be 90, velocity reduces down to 30, and acceleration is still minus 10. Then the next time through the draw loop, position equals 120, and velocity equals 20. So we can see that the ball continues moving up each frame by a smaller and smaller amount. And eventually it's gonna stop, velocity will become negative, and it will move back down towards where it started. We're gonna be using p-vector variables to describe the box because they're really good for the processing environment. The canvas is 2D and p-vectors have two numbers associated with them, an X and a Y. I'll link to the processing webpage on p-vectors in the description box so you can get all the details. Oh, we should have a size variable for the box too. Let's update the rect function so that we use our new variables. Good, still works. All right, so we wanna jump when we press the space bar. You should be able to do that by using the key pressed function and by specifying the character. When the space bar is pressed, we set velocity to 20. We'll try 20. Oh, these need to be lowercase. 
and nothing happened. Oh, we haven't told it what to do yet, right? Right now it's just setting velocity to 20, but not updating anything. Okay, we'll add velocity to position. See how it went off the bottom of the screen? That's because in processing, the axis origin is the top left corner. So when we're increasing the Y position, we're actually moving down on the screen. We need to change velocity to a negative number. Now that it's moving in the right direction, we just need to add in acceleration. <laughs> Why did that look like Mario jumping off the edge? Uh, anyway, acceleration is working, we just need to stop when the box is touching the ground, instead of continuing off the screen. We're just going to add in a statement that sets acceleration back to zero if the box is on or below the ground, and sets the position back to its initial value, and velocity back to zero as well. I made an error here that sent me down a long rabbit hole trying to figure out why it wasn't working. Remember that thing I said before about the axes in processing starting from the top left? Well, I forgot about it. The short version is I used less than instead of greater than, like an idiot. Now, back to the video. Please work, please work, please work. Yes! There you have it, gravity and processing. You can play around with the values for velocity and acceleration until you get a jump that looks right. Now I'm going to add in some functionality for the X direction and use friction to slow down. If you're trying to do something like this yourself and you get stuck, drop it in the comments and we'll see if I'm able to help you out. If you liked this video, press the like button. If you want to see more from me, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.